I have that follow up now. Unfortunately, I know I seemed ecstatic, I seemed happy, I seemed, to me it was like, yes, finally something I can use. But I have found that I cannot, I cannot use. Uh, and let me tell you why. All right, so once the camera went off and I didn't have to worry about recording anything and I, I could get my hands wet, wet without having to worry about getting the camera wet, I went at it. I spent two hours going through every single of those adaptations and zapping them for 60 seconds. And then after I zapped them for 60 seconds, I decided to come back to re-zap them again. And then I came back the next morning to find them fully extended, their, their body though. Not their, their tentacles, just picture like a, uh, and I should, probably should have recorded it, I'm sorry that I didn't, but at this point I'm like, you know, not happy with the product. It, it was really one of those things that's easier said than done, you know what I'm saying? Like it's easy to say, oh, 60 seconds, all you have to do is 60 seconds and all you have to do is possibly come back a second time or a third time. And you're like, sure, 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 you know, at this point, no fish, no, no uh, peppermint shrimp, nothing's really taking care of it and I'm willing to try this. But I, it's just, it's not practical for me. And so I decided that same day to re-zap them, they shrunk in. And at this point, I can tell you that I've actually worked on this tank here with it to see in effect whether uh, the ones that are in here would recover or if it's different or whatever the case may be When I worked with that reef delete here is when I discovered why It's just not practical for me. I mean just think about it It took me about two hours to zap them um, about an hour and a half to zap all those for 60 seconds each Let me tell you why That button and and, and I have it right here. I don't know why I'm even you know showing you so because I'm getting ready I, I've cleaned this as best as I could it doesn't have any scratches it's, it's still in mint condition I just I'm getting ready to repack it back the way that it was and I've sent premium aquatics an email to, telling them that I'm not really happy with this product uh, not their fault uh, I'll explain you know this video most likely turned out to be longer than expected I hope you hung in there and you listened and I hope you subscribed like and share so this button right here this button is a lot harder than you think. It actually, you have to create some pressure. And at first you're like, oh yeah, I could do that. Oh yeah, I could do that. You know, I, I could do that. But when you sit there with your arm like this, looking for these Aptasia, and you press that button, whether it's this way, whether it's this way, I tried every single way. And, let me, and I guess, let me get to the point. When you do that, your hand and arm get so tiring that I I would get tired after doing it for about three minutes. So I would get to three Aptasia at a time. And I can tell you that I started this the same night that I worked on the controlled environment one, the one that was in a 20 gallon one. When I did it then, I mean, I was tired. My arms were shaky you know, because of, of, you know, your muscles being so already trained out that, you know, it's, it's hard to even press the button. And there were moments where I thought I was pressing the buttons on the water and then all of a sudden I, I realized that, no, no, I never pressed it. So uh, this might sound like just a bunch of excuses. If you feel you're up for the task, by all means try. I could tell you that it does not kill the Aptasia in the first try of 60 seconds of this or more. It did not, in that controlled environment, kill it on the second try. And then by the third try, which was the second, the, the, the next day, um, it shriveled them back in, but it, they just didn't seem to be withering away. And so on here, I could tell you that, that the ones that I did by the third time, it's they're still there. And so maybe I was doing something wrong Maybe, I mean, maybe there could be so many other scenarios, right? I, I don't know what those would be. I just know that if it's gonna take more times than what I've tried, it is not practical for me. This is an eight foot tank by 30 inches by 24 inches. I know I, I sounded so excited when I was like, oh yes, I, I can do it, no worries, I'll do it. I even told my wife, my wife was like, okay, cool, you know, 60 seconds, 60 seconds. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to stay there as, so, uh, you know, as long as it's killing them, and that's the, the problem. If there's things I would change for this, for me to buy it again, the things that I would need changed is 
this button needs to be an on and off button. You already have the redundancy that if that if this won't work, it won't turn on as you can see if um, if it's not underwater and it's not it, it can't even be fresh water because I tried under like a, a sink water and it didn't even work then. Uh, so they, these conductors tell whether it's salt water or not. The number one thing I would change is that. If I didn't have to press this button and it was just an on and off switch maybe and I could just sit there and point at it and point at it and point at it and point at it then maybe I would say you know what that's fine because I wouldn't get as tired as I was right now while I'm sitting here pointing at him. Now it would still be almost not practical because I would be in there trying you know having to do a second and third time to get him to really die and that's where my other non-practical thing comes in for me. If this UVC was a little bit more powerful, where to you tell me do it for 60 seconds and the uh, Aptasia will be dead and I try that and, and test it and it works, absolutely I would keep it. Even though I would know it would take me a while because 60 seconds per Aptasia and I have maybe over three, 400, uh, three or 400 of them in there, we're talking about three or 400 minutes, but once 60 seconds, don't press the button that you know it's an on and off switch and that's all you have to do. I'd keep it but I know that I just cannot continue to do this and, and it not give me results on the first nor second try and on the third try I just I can't justify $400 for this and I just honestly I can't recommend it you know would you recommend it for a smaller tank that has just a dozen I mean possibly but do you want to spend $400 on this or just spend uh, time manually removing them possibly i mean i don't know what other uh, matter i mean i've known that lemon juice works for people hot water works for people um maybe not aptasia exit for me it doesn't work but some gentleman said for him it did so you know you have other options that are cheaper i guess and i was just very excited about this willing to spend the 400 dollars for it yes i know it's expensive and i just said that there's other cheaper options but for as hard as this is for me to be 400 dollars, no I, I would expect Maybe a more, I'm assuming a more powerful UVC would would uh, allow you not to have to come back and do it a second or third time. Guys, I just I can't recommend it. Uh, those are the reasons why for me um, the the Aptasia obviously had a reaction. You saw that on the video. Uh, the reaction wasn't enough for it for they to die by the next day. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I really I hope you enjoyed this video. I truly did want to love this, but unfortunately, it just, I couldn't. Now I'm just hoping that I can actually return it. They mentioned that I had 30 days. If I didn't love it, I could return it. Guys, gals, see you on the next one.